Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Hi, how are you? How is everything? Bueno, me llamo Catherine, my name is Catherine, y bienvenidos a esta clase de español. And welcome to the Spanish class. Hoy vamos a tener una clase de conversación. And today we're going to have a conversation class. Mm -hmm. Let me share my screen with you really quickly. Now, it is this third part or three part series. Well, actually four part series, like three recorded classes, one presential on how to be polite in Spanish. Como ser cortés en español. Y esa es la parte tres. That's the third part. Vale, pues. We already covered greetings and responses of different parts of the day, different situations, how to respond, how to uh, do it adequately. We also have covered how to introduce herself, how to introduce somebody else in different social situations. And today we're going to focus on courtesy forms and how to be polite in Spanish, basically in its essence. And the most exciting, most interesting part is going to be lesson four, the one that is a live practice in Zoom, where we're going to revise everything we've learned in these three lessons. And also we're going to learn how to be an active listener in Spanish, how to react to certain things, how to basically how to be uh, able to maintain a conversation on the receiving end perfectly in Spanish. Vale. Y también tenemos uh, el documento PDF. We also have the PDF document with the word list as follows, where you, uh, you can take notes about all the words that we're going to be learning in these lessons. You can take it notes in your native tongue or in English, if that's the case. And basically, that's a fun way to uh, follow up with the le lessons. And also you have some extra words where you have some different responses, some different uh, interactions that you may have for different situations, for different celebrations, for different parts of the day, different, uh, for example, when you want to wish somebody luck, etc., etc. Vale, pero primero vamos a repasar, but first let's review. Vale, voy a decir las frases y tú tienes que responder. So I'm going to say the phrase and you'll have to respond. Muy bien, empezamos. Let's start. Hola, ¿cómo te llamas? Es mi amiga María. Le presento a señor González. I'm sure you've done great. Okay, let's move on to the topic of the day, shall we? Muy bien. Empezamos con pedir disculpas por algo. So let's start with how do we say sorry? in Spanish, okay? And how do we respond to somebody saying sorry to us? So they go in lines like this. So this is the this is the um, interaction. And this here is a response. Vale, ¿qué podemos decir? El más genérico es perdón. Oh, sorry, perdón. Mm -hmm. And then you may say, um, excuse me, more informally, perdona, tú, tú, perdona. Oh, excuse me, perdóname, perdona. And a more formal one for usted is going to end with an E, perdone. Hoy, perdóname, Pepe, perdóname, señor González. Mm -hmm. And the same with disculpa. Disculpame, Pepe. No, for tú, disculpa. Y disculpe for a more formal one. No, disculpa. Disculpe. Mm -hmm. Perdón es sorry, more so sorry. And disculpe is more so excuse me. No, so we use it like an introductory statement. Vale, vamos a repasar. Perdón. Perdona tú. Perdone usted. Mm -hmm. Disculpa tú. Disculpe usted. Mm -hmm. And how can we react? Like, how would we say, oh, it's nothing, don't worry about it. No pasa nada. Nothing happens. No pasa nada. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. No te preocupes. No te preocupes. Don't worry you, more informal. No. O oh, usted, no se preocupe. 
Uh -huh. No se preocupe. Por ejemplo, no te preocupes, Pepe. No se preocupe, señor González. Uh -huh. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh -huh. O por ejemplo, tranquilo o tranquila. Todo está bien. Uh -huh. Tranquilo for the guy, tranquila for the girl. ¿no? Boom. Men and women, masculine and feminine. ¿no? Tranquilo, todo está bien. Keep calm, everything is all right. Tranquila, todo está bien. Keep calm, everything is all right. Por ejemplo, tranquilo, Pepe, todo está bien. Tranquila, María, todo está bien. Mm -hmm. Let's revise this three. No pasa nada. No te preocupes, tú. No se preocupe, usted. Tranquilo o tranquila, todo está bien. Mm -hmm. So these are all different ways to say sorry. All right. Y mostrar agradecimiento. How to, basically, how to show uh, gratefulness. Do how to say thank you to somebody. Por ejemplo, gracias. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. O, te lo agradezco. Um, I'm grateful to you. O, se lo agradezco. A more formal one for usted. So, Pepe. Te lo agradezco. O oh, usted, bueno, señor González, se lo agradezco. Uh -huh. And also you can say, muy agradecido. O muy agradecida. Depending on your gender. No, agradecido, agradecida. Yeah, I'm very thankful. No, vamos a repetir. Gracias. Muchas gracias. O. Oh, te lo agradezco a ti, tú. Se lo agradezco usted. Muy agradecido. Muy agradecida. And how can you respond to that? No. Somebody says thank you. You can kind of like reiterate it. Gracias a ti. Thank you. No, gracias a ti. O gracias a usted. In this case, no, you can either say gracias a ti, Pepe, o gracias a usted. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, o también, de nada. That's okay, it's nothing. De nada. O, encantado, encantada de ayudar. I'm happy and pleased to help. Encantado, chico, encantada, chica. ¿no? Vamos a repasar. Mm -hmm. Respondemos, no, we, we answer. Gracias a ti. O, oh, de nada. O, oh, encantado, encantada de ayudar. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. So, when somebody gives you bad news, how, how can we express empathy? How we do we express sadness for somebody? How, how can we, like, empathize with them? No, expresar pena, to express your, well, your feelings, your pain. Mm -hmm. Lo siento mucho. I'm so sorry. Lo siento mucho. O, oh, cuánto lo siento. Cuánto lo siento. Okay, notice that there is a typo here, apparently. No, cuánto lo siento was a T. Mm -hmm. O, oh, te acompaño en el sentimiento. No, I, um, basically, my condolences. says, no, I accompany you in the sentiment. Or it's for tú y para usted. Le acompaño en el sentimiento. So, Pepe, te acompaño en el sentimiento. O, le acompaño en el sentimiento. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we respond with being thankful. No, we respond with, like, an appropriate response would be, gracias. O, te lo agradezco mucho. Te lo agradezco mucho. I really appreciate that. O se lo agradezco mucho for more formal. Mm -hmm. Vamos a repasar. Lo siento mucho. ¿Cuánto lo siento? Te o le acompaño en el sentimiento. Y respondemos. We answer. Gracias. Te lo agradezco mucho. Se lo agradezco mucho. Mm -hmm. Vale, y también 
podemos felicitar a alguien. Let's, and on a positive note, when somebody is giving you good news, how do you react to that? No, podemos decir, muchas felicidades. Yeah. Literally, like, many congratulations. Like, uh -huh. muchas felicidades. Mm -hmm. And the next one, enhorabuena. Enhorabuena. Well done. Keep up with good work. It's, a, it's, it's when you have done something and it has resulted in something great. No, so somebody has passed an exam. Enhorabuena. Somebody has learned everything that it, there is from this lesson. Enhorabuena. Eso es lo que os voy a decir al final. That's what I'm going to tell you at the end as well. Oh, me alegro mucho. I'm very happy. Me alegro mucho. It's like I'm very happy for you, no? Or you can like spice it up a notch. Cuánto me alegro. Cuánto me alegro. How happy am I? Mm -hmm. Y también respondemos, como siempre, and we can respond to this one. Gracias. Oh, te lo agradezco mucho. No, I am very thankful for that. Se lo agradezco mucho. Uh -huh. Vale, muy bien. Pues todas estas frases son parte de nuestro día a día. So all of these phrases are the parts of our day to day. Uh -huh. And don't forget about the possibility to practice our speaking in the life lesson that follows. Well, that's the fourth part of the series. We're going to practice our speaking over Zoom. There are going to be little breakout rooms as well, where uh, you're going to be having some tasks to complete with other speakers of Spanish. And um, we're going to learn how to, as I told you, we're going to learn how to react to things in Spanish, how to interact more adequately. No, no we're going to revise the pronunciation. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to respond to them as well. And if you have any feedback, I'll be happy to hear it there as well. And you can sign up. Um, and uh, the link is in the description below. Alongside the speaking essentials, the practice, the PDF document, where you have the word list, where you have the extra words, and you have all the information that you need about the content on these three part series. Vale. Y pues, muy bien, very good. Enhorabuena. Well done. Y nos vemos en las próximas um, clases. I will see each other in the next classes. Chao, chao. Bye, bye.